What's up my poignos? Andy with Andy Vlog decided to share this content with you guys. As the title suggests, we're going to be going over a smart light switch, how to install it, how to connect it to your smart device, the hub, as well as Google Assistant. I don't have Alexa or Apple Home, however this is compatible with those devices if you're interested. Now before we get started, you need to make sure that you have the hub, the smart hub, this just you know, acts as like an alarm and a light and it just connects right into the plug and then it also creates a hub for all of your other smart devices. This is not a sponsored ad from Acora. I, they did not reach out to me. I did purchase these products with my own money. So down below in the description are links to those products if you guys are interested. It does help out the channel so you know where my bias is. Nonetheless, as I mentioned, there is a, a second product that we have already reviewed and we've uploaded. This is the door sensor from the same company. They have a bunch of other products in the home automation world, home security if you're interested that connect with Google Assistant, Alexa, and Apple. As you can see here, these are the products I'm going to be reviewing in this series. We've already done a video on this. You can check that in the links in the description or in the cards up above. Let's go ahead and unbox here uh, the hub and then we'll unbox the light. All right, so like I said, you need to make sure that you have this hub. This is required in order to connect to any of the Acora devices. It is Android and Apple compatible. It also has Google Assistant and Alexa. The unboxing is really, really straightforward. It's basically just the plug itself. Yes, it is a plug. It does not have any cords. It does not have any other you know, plugs or jacks. This just goes right in to one of your wall plugs. This is the American US version, uh, as you can see. What's nice about this device as well is it has this ring you know, to provide us kind of a night light. It also has a speaker here for the alarm if anything's tripped when you have it uh, armed. This is what it looks like closer up. As you can see, it's it's really well built. It is kind of hefty and it just plugs right into your plug. Let's go ahead and set that aside here and move on to the light switch. All right, there's a couple of options here with regards to these smart light switches. Uh, you've got one that has a neutral and one without a neutral. This one is with a neutral, this one's without a neutral. Please, please, before you go in and start opening up plugs, please consult a professional electrician. I am not an electrician in any shape, way, or form. Nonetheless, I am a YouTuber, so that gives me credentials enough. The unboxing experience is very, very straightforward. You're basically just paying for the plug itself, which is you know a little expensive, but it's nice to have a smart option you know, somewhere around the house. You don't have to have every plug like that. Uh, nonetheless here, here is what it looks like. You've got this matte white feel and it's really, really clicky. It, uh, <laughs> it doesn't switch technically, but depending on where you press on it, it's going to turn it on or off. Here are, you know, the cords in the back. Interesting. Here's the face plate. This isn't your ordinary, I guess, plug here. Um, let's continue to open this up. You've got a couple of, you've got your little twisty screws, which I appreciate. Then you've got your hardware here to put the faceplate on, as well as the screw that goes into the blue box. It looks like it's already been pre-cut, so all you have to do is literally just connect the cords here. Let's go ahead and install it and then we'll do the app. Make sure you go to your breaker and turn off any electricity connected to the switch that you're going to. Okay, make sure you go to you know your, your plugs here where your main switch breaker is and you turn off your breaker. All right, so the Acquire Home app, just on the App Store, you can go and purchase on Android or iOS. It's pretty straightforward. Wait till it downloads and you'll be able to set up the hub and then start connecting the devices that you wish to connect. All right, let's open it up. This is what it looks like for the first time. It gives you all of these different tutorials. I'm just gonna go set up an account. We're gonna sign up. We'll skip over this section after I've set up. Okay, set up my password. Now I'm gonna allow everything to be accessible. We're gonna allow while using the app. Now. I've got it all set up. Let's go ahead now and uh, set up the home hub. I think it's just a hub. It says hub. 
All right, we're gonna hit next. Choose a home, yep, my home. Long press the button for more than 10 seconds until the yellow light indicator blinks. I'm gonna hold it down for some time now and it should go a hard yellow. It's going white. I think that's uh, a factory Waiting reset. Waiting to connect. Please open the app. All right, it talked to me. It is now flashing. I have to make sure and set it to the right Wi-Fi. All right, once you hit next, it's gonna copy the Wi-Fi basically from your phone. Now we're gonna set up the accessory. We're gonna go to the QR code and grab the QR code that it's connected to. Bridge? Hmm. I might have to do this on Android. It keeps auto popping up the, uh, the Apple Home thing. So I'm here in the Apple Home app and it shows the device here. You can, you can actually change all the different colors, which is actually pretty cool. You can hold it down and you can edit the color that it's gonna do. So it's got the gamut of the RGB, which I think is really awesome. And then I can update the device if I want as well. I can turn on, I guess, the alarm. There's the alarm. 13% brightness. Oh wow, that's the bright, that's real bright. The problem is, is I wanna be able to connect it with Google Home and I, I've got my Android here now in my hand and I wanna be able to connect this uh, to my Aquaria account. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into the app, into the cog here and I'm gonna remove the bridge. This is kind of a rudimentary way about this. I just don't have a screen recorder for this phone. Nonetheless, I've uh, reformatted it. As you can see, the directions are about the same as on the Waiting to connect. Apple. Please open the app. And now we're gonna connect. Scans for new ride devices. Hopefully it'll connect. There's the hub. That's fine. I'm on the right Wi-Fi. Now it's connecting to the accessory and I'm gonna be adding it to my profile. Connecting. Please wait. Excellent. Wi-Fi failed to connect. <sighs> Let's see if I can do it again. Wi-Fi connected successfully. Oh, good. All right, I guess it connected. All right, we're gonna name the room, mid-room. We're gonna send in a firmware update to the device. And while that's doing that, we're gonna switch over to our Apple. So I moved because it wasn't getting a good connection to the Wi-Fi. So about an hour has passed and I'm still trying to connect this device. I'm having a hard time with the device interfering with the Apple home and me not being able to connect it to my Aquara account. I was able to do that there and now going into the Aquara account, you'll be able to see the hub. Right here, you can now see over on the side, I'm connected to the device. You go over to mid room, you can turn the light off, you can turn it on and connect it. And let me show you all these different accessories that you can do. We're gonna turn it on. Uh, you can change it to all these different settings that you've preset. And then you can turn the power, like the brightness way high, super bright. Let's add a yellow or a red. So we got the pink on there now, and uh, that's basically that. Okay, once you've uh, deactivated this, you can go ahead and now and take off the screws and the device itself. And that's gonna help us determine which uh, type of plug we're gonna be installing here. Okay, once you've got the plug, you can go ahead and take it out and pull it through. It looks like I am gonna need the ground. I've got, uh, looks like I've got a daisy chain here. There's a ground. It looks like it's chaining here, which might be a problem. Okay, so it looks like within the plug, there is a neutral, this white cord, but it doesn't look like it's actually connecting to my light switch. So we're not gonna go with the neutral cord. We're gonna leave it and return it. Man, one of the most frustrating things as a creator is pulling up your footage a few days later after you've done your build and figuring out that your lav mic completely died. Uh, and so it is. Uh, with that said though, I was able to determine that the neutral was not needed. I ended up connecting the points where they needed to be connected and using those orange twisties. It wasn't very difficult. Again, seek elect an electrician for some help. I'm not an electrician, nor am I gonna show you how to wire a plug. Once I did that, I connected it to the app. It was very straightforward. 
I screwed in the plates and then it just worked. You, you press it and it turns it on. A few days later here, it's already installed. We've been working on it. Right here's the plug. I'm gonna go ahead and call out to Google. Hey Google, turn on midroom lights. There it goes. Now this light is on. It's as simple as that. All right, my Pugnoles, well that does it. That was the installation, the setup, and connectivity to the app. I think it's really awesome to be able to call out to Google and turn on your switches. That's something that I love about home automation. The installation was a little tricky, making sure that you've got the right cords connected. However, it gives you those you know, thumb screws to make it so much easier so you're not hooking actually on the device itself. Shoving it into the blue box wasn't too hard of a deal. Nonetheless, uh, make sure you, you know, check with an electrician and go get their professional opinion before you start anything. I am not in any way, shape, or form someone of that caliber or that expertise. I think this is a really cool product. I really like Aquora. I think the alerts are nice. With that said, guys, if you like this content, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Down below in the description is a link that helps out the channel if you guys want to check this product out. Go check out the other video with the door and window sensors. Other than that, we'll see you on the next one.